Guys, this has to go down in the history of Big Brother as the best and most gutted life eviction show in history. Have you ever witnessed four housemates being evicted? If you have, let me know because I haven't. This is the first time in the history of Big Brother, be it BB Niger, be it BB All Stars, be it BB Titan, that we are witnessing four housemates. Four. Guys, I mean quadruple eviction. If that doesn't speak disrupting, if that doesn't show what the theme of this show is all about, if you remember the theme of this season is disrupting, the theme of this season they promise to disrupt the show and to change every narrative we think we know or we think we have about Big Brother. And guys, they have been delivering from the moment this show started, just that the housemate, the selection of the housemate they made have been uh, failing their hands and uh, this housemate have been uh, boring. If we are all being honest with ourselves, they've been boring. And last week, last week was one of the most boring week throughout the history of Big Brother. Guys, I welcome you. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I'll urge you to please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a massive like and let me hear your thoughts about today's uh, life eviction show in the comment section. Today we witnessed an extraordinary life eviction show where four housemates, Mish, Mile, Taki and Shuenza were evicted. If you guys remember the video I did on Monday right after the whole nomination process where 11 housemates were put up for possible eviction. I hinted to you that at least two or more housemates will be leaving but we didn't see four coming. During the live eviction show, we started this off by a performance and then Lawrence introduced himself. And without wasting time, Lawrence went into the house and started it off with eviction. But first of all, he congratulated Willie as the head of house for the attacks and also said a very few words to the other housemates. And immediately he started, he called all the nominated housemates to stand up and uh, went on to carry out his first eviction. And uh, without any surprise, because from the lineup of the housemates that are up for possible eviction, we already knew that Mile would be one of the housemates living. So when Lawrence called off her name, it didn't come as a shock or anything. And uh, to her, she, was, she wasn't she was surprised because she'd already made up her mind that maybe, yes, she will be living today. One of the things Lawrence asked her is to describe how she felt, to describe her emotion now she's outside of the house. And she felt and she said she doesn't have any regrets and that she has mixed emotions. So during the process of asking Mile question, Lawrence asked her what she has discovered about herself and if she struggled with the personalities inside the house. And she said honestly that getting into the house, she thought she had a bubbly personality because Lawrence pointed that out that during the lunch show that she had too much uh, she had too much energy going into the house. But when she got into the house, she kind of dulled down if if the personalities she met in the house kind of made her, make her step, take a step back. And she says that yes, that uh, when she got into the house, that the amount of people that she met and the personality, that she kind of shied away and struggled with that kind of personality. Lawrence asked her if she has discovered, if she has discovered anything about herself. And she said yes, that one thing she discovered is the way she sees things, that right now, she has learned to see things in different ways that if it's not a matter of life and death that everything goes that she's that she wouldn't be afraid anymore that's what she discovered about herself and Lawrence went into the house right again and uh, that kind of hinted to us that this is not a single eviction or a double nomination that with the time we have we might be getting triple nomination we didn't see we didn't see quadruple uh, eviction coming today but Lawrence went into the house, asked the other remaining housemates that have not been evicted to stand up, and they stood up. And without wasting time, Lawrence evicted Taki. When Taki was evicted, Big Brother gave him the count, and he went outside and met Lawrence. And Lawrence asked him a question, uh, how he felt going from being a disruptor to being a normal competition inside the house and being able to compete for the two million rents. He said that he is so happy and very thankful for the people that voted for him and made it possible for him to compete for the cash prize of two million rents. Lawrence went on and asked him what is the relationship between him and Neo, if it's genuine. And uh, without wasting time, Chucky was like, yeah, whatever I had with Neo is genuine 
and uh, the first kiss that we had kind of sealed it for me and uh, we've discussed it and whenever we talk to ourselves and we made a promise that whenever the show ends or when the two of us are outside of the house that we would like to pursue things so now that i'm outside of the house i would like to pursue things with her and i will go looking for her so Lawrence went on to ask Taki about the bromance he has been developing in the house if it's genuine and he says yes that the bromance he has with Sinai and Mac and Mac Jr. is real and that they promise themselves that they will cook something once they are out of the house so Lawrence went on to ask him that now that he's out of the house what is the next step for him what is he looking up for he said he will go and create more content and guys from us the viewers we wish him well and we can't wait to see the good things that he does with this uh, publicity the next person that Lawrence evicted from the house Shuenza the next person Lawrence evicted was Shuenza and during his question and answer he said that the game plan he has is to take every day one step at a time and uh, Lawrence also asked him about the relationship he had with the ladies in the house and all the guys in the house and he said that he, uh, some kind, some people feels like he's a gossip in the house but the people that know him very well knows that he's not the gossiping type but wherever he is that gossip always tries to locate him and he doesn't like to mingle with it and that's why he's always kind of pulling himself away whenever there is gossiping and uh, that the kind of relationship he has with all the housemates is different that the relationship he has with Z is a different kind of relationship he has with C uh, Snai is a different kind of relationship that he has with Liama that they all of these housemates that yes uh, he has a relationship with them but it's different so the next person that came as a shock to us because after Shuenza was out we thought okay that is the end of the whole eviction process that Lawrence will now say his vice word no he, he decided to evict the fourth person and that kind of took us as a surprise because we haven't witnessed four eviction in one night in the big brother house but today we saw that and the next person which is the last housemate to be evicted today was none other person than Mish and guys if you remember during the whole nomination process when the housemate were to give reasons why they nominated each other Mish was one of the housemates that was put up for uh, that was put up for possible eviction by Sinai and Taki and the reason why Sinai put up Mish for possible eviction is because Mish told him that he is ready to be put up for possible eviction that he wants to test his strength and see how strong he is outside of the house and for Taki, Taki said that Mish has always uh, felt, felt like he knows everything that is going on in the show and that uh, he's a strong competitor. So he would like to see Mish battle it out with other strong competitors that will be out for possible eviction. It came as a shame where to see that two of them are out of the house and they will be watching from their home. But let's go to the question Lawrence asked Mish. So... <laughs> So if you if you guys notice when Mish was uh, was evicted when Big Brother called out his name the guy was shocked because after Shuenza was nominated in his mind he felt that he is safe that there is no way Big Brother will nominate we evict four housemates so when it was only him and Yolanda left he he's already made up his mind that he's safe so when Lawrence called out his name and uh, told him that he's uh, he's time in the house is over he almost cried but he kind of comported he composed himself and even outside of the uh, arena you could see that you no know, that this is not the same image that we are used to seeing that something was wrong but he tried to comport himself that even Lawrence kind of asked him is everything okay with you and uh, in a jovial manner he said yes that this is life that life happens that it is what it is and at the end of the day someone must uh, leave and uh, today he's so unlucky to be one of the person that is leaving so Lawrence showed him uh, his highlights everything that he has been up to throughout his stay in the house and uh, after the whole eviction process we thought okay that is the end of the show but no big brother decided to bring out the whole dagger twist if you guys remember the first person to use the whole dagger twist was Pali, when Pali was evicted, Pali threw her dagger on Liema, which uh, in a period of two days, Big Brother punished Liema by uh, giving her a shoe. And uh, for a period of two days, she has to parent that shoe, take care of the shoe, uh, feed the shoe, clean the shoe, bathe the shoe, act as a single parent to that shoe. So 
for this week big brother decided to bring back the whole dagger thing and for this four housemates they had the opportunity to go back into the house and through dagger to the remaining housemates so these are the names of the housemate they daggered and uh, they are reason for daggering the housemate so for shwenza shwenza daggered willy and her, his reason for giving willy the dagger is because he feels like willy is so disloyal to the people that he's supposed to be loyal to for mile mile dagger jared mile is a woman supporting women so he that she daggered jared and the reason why she uh, she daggered jared is because she felt like jared is playing both mpumi and Riema. And it's high time Jared focus on his game and uh, stop playing with the hearts of these two ladies. Saki daggered Makeke. But I didn't get his reason of daggering Makeke. All I keep hearing is two blade, two blade. So I don't know what that means. If you know what it means, let me know in the comment section. For Mish, Mish daggered Snai. And you guys remember, these uh, two housemates has been going at each other's neck. During the whole face-to-face -face nomination, they both nominated each other. And uh, for today, Mitch decided to throw his uh, dagger at Sinai. And his reason for throwing his dagger to Sinai is he feels like Sinai has been hiding himself. So Mitch threw his dagger at Sinai. And uh, his reason is because he wants to see Sinai play the game for once. That Sinai has been shying away and uh, playing the invisible game. But he wants to see him come out of his shell and play the game for once. So guys... This is where I will leave you. But before I let you go, I would like you to know that Big Brother said that there will be a twist tomorrow after the whole nomination process. So be on a watch out. I'll be dropping a video about that when it happens on Monday. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I'll urge you to please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a massive like and let me hear your thoughts about today's uh, Life Eviction Show in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe and remain blessed. Guys, please remember...